Alrighty then, welcome to my personal finance tracker tool. I've been using this and stuff like it on Google Sheets since at least 2013. And before that, it was slips of paper in my back pocket where I kept uh, primarily just a running bank balance uh, so that I could keep track of what was in my bank account and not overspend. This is not a budget. If you are intimidated by budgets and complicated personal finance stuff, as I was for a long time, this is a good place for you to start because it's a lot more simple. Uh, it doesn't really require you to do anything different other than track where you are actually spending money. For me, the act of manually inputting these transactions and not having something like Mint or YNAB track them automatically for me, the act of doing it myself really actually helped just doing that, keep track of my money better, spend within my means more, and uh, manage my debt uh, to the degree that I, I really want it to. Um, so anyway, th that's kind of the reasons that I have been doing this. I've now uh, created a little bit cleaner version for 2022 that is shareable with you. All you got to do is um, make a copy, save it in your Google Drive, and it will um, open up an editable sheet that looks like this. Um, the first section, simply input all of the methods by which you use to pay for things. Uh, credit cards, ATM cards, whatever. Uh, I should mention here at the onset, uh, the way that I use this is with the assumption that you are going to do your darndest to pay off your entire credit card balance at the beginning or end of every month. Uh, I do not keep a credit card balance. I have not. Uh, I don't think I've paid a dime of interest ever on my credit cards. I'm using this tool uh if I pay for something with my Amazon card, say, I will go in here and log it as though that money has come out of my bank account. This for me is a really powerful way, especially if you are not super confident with your finances of just not overspending. So anyway, that's what we're doing here. We're just going to act like every single transaction, whether it's cash, check or charge, is coming straight out immediately of the bank account. Secondly, uh, you'll want your current balance. So whatever's in your bank account, um, 12 bucks, 12 grand, whatever. Uh, and then lastly, as far as setup, this is all you really need. Uh, what categories are you going to have for your income? Uh, it could just be a paycheck. Uh, that's pretty much what it is for me, one for me and one for my wife. And then uh, whatever categories you have for your expenses. It could be this many. It could be two. Uh, it doesn't matter. Delete what you don't need. Change what you want to change. Uh, both the payment methods and the categories here are going to automatically populate these two drop-down selections over here. Uh, this is the transaction sheet. This is where we are going to enter every transaction for an entire year. Uh, I've got 1,601 rows here. That should be sufficient for you and me both. I used to keep a separate tab for each month. But it's kind of pointless um, to do that. It just required um, a little bit of tedium that I'm going to eliminate uh, when transferring uh, from the end of the month to the start of the next month. So we're going to keep it all here in one sheet. All you got to do every time you buy something or charge something or whatever is just punch it in here. Payday. You got the date, the transaction, the amount, the category. Again, this will populate and you will need to select one of these items that you put over here on the start tab and then the payment method so how did i how did i pay for this well pay paycheck it's just a direct deposit for me i'm going to leave that blank put an amazon card here uh, let's see my atm card there another payday so that's good daycare oh sure we wrote a check why not and then another amazon card uh, the next column keeps a running balance of the bank account. Again, even though I charge $5.55 to groceries on my Amazon card, um, I'm going to act like that's out of my bank account. This gives me a live, up-to-date view of what is going on uh, for, my, for my money, so I don't ever spend. I don't want to pay fees. Fees are stupid. Uh, the next column here, income expense, this is a restatement of the obvious. 
Um, it's calculating this amount just based on uh, stuff that's already input over here. I only have this here, as you'll see in the next tab, to make some charts a little bit easier to create. Same thing for the month. I have converted the actual specific date in column A to just a month over here. So I can aggregate the, get the data uh, for the year in our analysis tab. Um, up here, if you need to log in here and you know just look at, say, January's transactions, you're wanting to check something out, um, you can certainly um, filter by condition. It's going to take a second to do that, apparently, since I've got 1,600 rows there. Um, but you know, really, these these I don't use these a bunch, but they're there if you need them. And toggle that back on. Same thing with category and payment method. What you will probably use are these two filters, though. We're in the analysis tab. This is going to give information for the entire year, or from, as you can see here, for months at a time. So if I want to just look at January and February, I can do that, and boom, that will automatically change my snapshot of income versus expenses. Um, it will change my, um, by category, my expenses down here, and my by month totals down here. Um, I can also toggle off income if I want to just look at expenses. So looking right here, I've just got 420 in expenses there. I've just got it in groceries here, and it's just in February here. So uh, that, that's pretty helpful to, to be able to toggle those on and off. Um, doo -doo -doo. Looks like I need to change the colors on that graph so that the income is actually green. I'm going to put all these back on here. And uh, then the last one down here is, is a, a balance over time, just to let you see your checking account balance over time there. Anyway, uh, I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any suggestions or feedback, I would love to hear it. Uh, again, this is not a sophisticated budgeting tool. There's plenty of those you can find, but I've, I've found for myself that they can be a little bit intimidating, so much so that I just throw in the towel and don't even mess with them. I think that's why uh, there are many tools out there that will automate the budgeting and stuff for you to work on the front end, and then it just gets automated. Uh, but this is for the manual entry. It's for uh, getting a pulse on your own personal finances, and I hope that it helps you as it certainly has helped me over the years. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Eamon Cottrell. Links for everything, of course, will be down in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.